I agree with you. I agree with you. Some of the Islamic societies, some, I don't generalize here. Some of them are patriarchal society, yes, as you mentioned, dominated by men. Men have the best place always. Men are first always, you know. Men are more important always, you know. We have this, of course, we see it. I've seen in Mecca, in the house of God in Mecca, last Hajj, I was there, and there were some women who were circumambulating around the house of God, and the call of the prayers came. They wanted to stand there and pray. The man came and he said to them, No, leave! This is only for men. This house, this Kaaba is only for men. We have no room. They came to me, they said, we want to pray. I said, yeah, this is the rule in Saudi Arabia. If you are a man, you have the right to live. If you are a female, no right to drive, no right to go to the market. Even if you want to move from this place to that place, you have to be with a chaperone, with a person, an elder. This is not Islam. This is not Islam. We have to teach people to trust each other. If you teach the women that you are untrusted, I can't trust you to go here and to go there, then you are telling her that you are not worthy of freedom. You are like an animal. And this is, this is how they are raising their children. And this is why also we, said, we see the rate of family disintegration is not only great in, 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 in non-Islamic societies, but also in Islamic societies in the Gulf states, in Saudi Arabia, the rate of divorce, the rate of violence against women and children. So, it is a true. What you said, this is a true. We have a smaller space for women in our culture, smaller. I would not say we have no place, no space, but the space given to her is smaller compared to the space that men occupy. We have to change this. Not only men have to change it, you sisters, you have to change this. You have to value yourself. Go to school. The first thing you have to equip yourself with is knowledge, any. Study. Compete with those men. I know some of you, alhamdulillah, are competing, and you surpass them in your studies, I know. You have to continue doing that. If they tell you that you have to get married and don't, don't go to school, tell them this is wrong. I can get married and I can go to school. I can do both. There is no contradiction between being a wife or a mother. I used to babysit my kids. My wife, she, she went to school for four years. I used to be a babysitter at home. But I didn't cook, you know, because I don't know how to cook. <laughs> so, equip yourself with knowledge. Participate, value yourself, be outspoken, respect your religion, respect your elders and your parents, you can prevail. You can change this perception.